Serena Williams is the greatest tennis player of all time. Unfortunately, she was away from the game for a year after she got injured at Wimbledon last year. She made her comeback this week and it didn't go too well for her. In today's video, we're talking about Serena Williams' epic loss to Harmony Tan as time finally catches up with the 40-year-old. Let's get started. First off, Serena Williams makes a comeback. The world of tennis rejoiced when the 23-time Grand Slam champion announced her comeback. She was making her long-awaited return to the game after a whole year year off. Serena was granted a wildcard entry into the Wimbledon singles draw. She posted a photo on Instagram of her trainers and ankle braces on grass with her tennis bag in the background. She was back. The tennis world was healing. Serena had not played a professional match since first round Wimbledon last year when she was forced to retire early in the first set after she fell on wet grass and sustained a left leg injury. In the meantime, she fell to 1,208 in the WTA rankings. But did you know many didn't expect her to come back? Serena had been away for a long time and there was no news on her return, so many fans assumed that this might be it for the former world number one. Recently, she even parted ways with her coach, Patrick Moratoglu, after being with him for over a decade. He was the most successful coach of her career as she had won 10 out of her 23 Grand Slams with him as well as singles and doubles Olympic gold medals. Many believed that this meant she wasn't going to be coming back, and these suspicions only seemed to get stronger when Patrick announced that he was joining Simona Halep and said that it was because he couldn't wait around for Serena to come back. People understandably assumed that she was done, but then with just one Instagram post, all doubt was removed. Now, how was Serena Williams feeling leading up to Wimbledon? As preparation, Serena teamed up with Anz Jabour from Eastbourne. Serena looked strong on the court as the duo made it to the semis of the tournament before Anz had to withdraw because of a knee injury. Speaking to the media, Serena said that she was feeling good and she was happy to be back. She revealed that she was doing a lot of training and her body felt great. Serena has not won a Grand Slam in over five years. Her last major victory came in 2017 at the Australian Open when she won her 23rd Grand Slam. It was later revealed that she was pregnant at the time too, and that's probably the most incredible thing she's ever done. And you know that's saying a lot. For the last five years, she's been trying to get back to the top and win her 24th Slam, which would tie her with Margaret Court for the most Grand Slam titles of all time. She's made it to four major finals and just fallen short of victory and that was all she had on her mind as she entered Wimbledon. She wanted to add another Grand Slam to her name. And then, Serena Williams against Harmony Tan. We have to be honest with you guys, drawing Harmony Tan was a great first round matchup for her. Everyone expected Serena to come out on top easily. Before the game, Harmony said that she'd be happy to take a few games off the seven-time Wimbledon champion. She clearly had no idea that it would be her day. As soon as the match started, Serena was visibly struggling, but then she made a comeback. She was leading 4-2, 40-15 in the first set, and it seems like she had finally found her footing. Instead, Harmony continued to target her with drop shots, forcing her to come forward and bend her knees, which messed with her rhythm. The American couldn't keep up and lost the first set. Then Serena cruised through the second set. She broke it 2-0 after a 20-minute game on her opponent's serve. It was smooth sailing from there, and we were taken to a deciding set. Again, Serena seemed composed, and it looked like it was going to be an easy win. She was serving for the game at 5 Four, but then the tables turned. Harmony rested her with a backhand passing shot and broke back. Then we were taken to a tiebreak. Once again, Serena was almost through at 4-0, but her lack of practice before the tournament caught up with her and she fell to a determined Harmony. And just like that, the dream was over, at least for now. So what did Serena say after the game? It was a heartbreaking loss, especially when so many times during the game, Serena looked like she had it. But it's a cruel sport and even the best of the best have bad days. After the game, Serena Serena said she gave all she could in the game. She said maybe she could have done more tomorrow or maybe a week ago. But that day, that was all she could do and sometimes you have to be okay with that. And we have to say that's a great way of looking at your losses. Way to go, Serena. Then she was asked whether she's kind of come back to Wimbledon and she said she couldn't answer that. She said that she doesn't know and added that who knows where I'll pop up. Despite that statement, she looked like she was determined to make a comeback. She said that this loss just gave her more motivation to practice and improve to play at home, referring to the U.S. Open later this year. She stated that it made her want to hit the courts because she could feel that she was close and she wasn't playing badly, just needed to get across the line. So more practice should help her with that. Now is time catching up with the great Serena Williams. We know what you're all wondering. Maybe Serena Williams is just too old to get back to her best. After all, she hasn't won a major in five years. She was away from the game for over a year and she's not getting any younger. Retirement is inevitable and we're sure it's a thought 
thought that's even crossed her mind a few times. But Serena Williams is extraordinary. She has defied odds way too often and overcome too much in her career to be just written off by people when she's not ready to retire. And it's not the first time this is happening. All the way back in 2003, Serena underwent a knee surgery. Now that would end many careers, but within a year of that, she was a Grand Slam champion once again. In 2007, she entered the Australian Open ranked 81st in the world, yet she left the tournament as the winner. Who does that? She had a near-death experience with embolism in 2011, but she came back and enjoyed some of her greatest years. She's won 10 majors since that. We ask again, who does that? In 2017, she survived a life-threatening childbirth, but she recovered and went on to reach four Grand Slam finals after that. That's more than most do in their careers, but for Serena, that's considered bad because she's just set the standard too high. Over the course of almost three decades, Serena has seen generations rise and fall. Most of the players that started with her are years into their retirements, but she stands tall. She's still here. And you know what? Serena Williams is bigger than tennis itself. Who's had a bigger impact on the game than Serena Williams? Only last week, Anz Jabur said she never could have imagined playing with Serena and it was a dream come true. She joked that nobody who hadn't won 23 slams was allowed to ask her to play doubles again. The bar was too high now. Iga Zvatek, the world number one, said that Serena was such a legend of the game that just watching her practice got her overwhelmed and she couldn't go up and say hello. Harmony Tan said after the game that Serena Williams was a superstar and she literally grew up watching her play. She even admitted that she was scared after she saw her draw. We would be too. No, but really, who's doing it like her? Tracy Austin recently said that Serena had nothing left to prove. The two-time Grand Slam champion said that even if she never wins a Grand Slam again, nobody can doubt that she's the best of all time. Whenever Serena Williams decides that it's time to leave, we'll be okay with it. Scratch that. What's tennis without her? She needs to play forever. But still, until then, what's better than her walking out onto center court and a stadium full of fans going berserk at just the sight of her? Will Serena Williams win another Grand Slam? Only time will tell. Shouldn't Serena Williams retire? That's only for her to decide. We know we're eagerly waiting to see her play next and we're always rooting for the woman who literally redefines tennis. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Serena Williams' first match back? Do you think she'll be back at Wimbledon next year? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.